What's up? This is Squad2440. We're farming some 2017 landscaping video. Today we'll be spreading gravel here on Goldcrest Rally with the Bobcat S770 and the brand new international dump truck. Let's hop in it. We'll attach to the 18 foot load trail trailer load up and we'll be heading over to the job site where we'll be spreading gravel on a driveway to prevent mud because the dirt does create the mud during the rain. So we'll be uh, attaching to the trailer. We'll be pulling out here and I'm very excited to be back here doing some landscaping videos and this is one very nice international dump truck that we uh, put together you guys will be seeing a video later today with that so we'll be hopping in the Bobcat S770 one of my favorite skid steers we do have the brand new bucket on it so we will actually be backing this onto the trailer I do get many requests to back it on because that's exactly how you're supposed to do it so it looks like we kind of do have a little bit of trouble every now and then getting on because uh, the slope and everything like that for the ramp but once we got it backed on just like we do have it we'll kind of put the weight over the tongue and also kind of put the bucket right before the fender starts so that looks to be good right about there we'll be turning it off hopping on the outside but I really do like this international dump truck very nice looking truck I will be looking into different mirrors for which I think would be helpful and we already do have a few truckloads of gravel at the job site which should help us out We'll be pulling out and making our way over. And I would like to thank each and every one of you for the continued support on the daily content. I really do enjoy doing daily farms and videos. These are a lot of fun. Landscaping, all of these different types are also very interesting to do. So if you do have any video ideas, drop them down below in the comments. And I'm very excited for all of the very cool videos coming. And I do have many surprises also coming to you guys. So we'll be uh, doing the driveway up here to the right. You guys can see it's a house. We actually had to build a dirt road in Giants Editor but you guys can see a lot a lot of gravel is already here so we'll probably kind of pull up and I think that because there is a traffic on the streets we'll probably have to park the trailer kind of on the grass just a little bit so I think we'll kind of back up here and kind of back onto the grass just a little I think it's going to be a little bit easier for us without having the problem with traffic so we'll be switching over to our truck turning on our beacon lights that's pretty cool how we get to have those we'll pretty much unload the skids here then we'll uh, kind of leave the trailer kind of on the side here and now the uh, building material silos just down the street so we'll be able to go get more if we do need it but I think that this should be a very easy job for us one that will be pretty nice to do so you guys can see that this truck came out nice and check out the video later today with it and I think since uh, we do have the skid steer out we'll probably start off with the uh, closest to us and then make our way over there so I think we'll kind of unload this entire truck load right over here and as we do unload you just kind of have to back up and move just a little bit back and forth to prevent it from piling up in one area and I'd like to thank each and every one of you for the continued support with all the positive comments. You guys have been awesome about all of those comments and I really do enjoy doing these videos. So we'll kind of park up over here and you guys will see that when the car drives by, you'll just be able to kind of cruise by without uh, having the truck in the way. So we have this pile right here, right next to us, which should be pretty helpful. We'll kind of uh, take a bucket load, we'll have to back up, and we also do have to be very careful about uh, kind of not getting ourselves stuck. That's going to be a big problem also today if it does happen. So we'll kind of uh, start to unload and just kind of back down. It looks like we are missing a few spots. We'll kind of drive up just a little slowly. And that actually came out really good so far, this section. And it looks like every time we drive with uh, the Bobcat, it also kind of changes everything. So we'll have to kind of get used to how the Bobcat works. And we are still getting used to it. Yep, it's brand new to us. But uh, we've used it on a few jobs. We'll kind of back up here. We want to get as much done in this section before we go get more from the other piles. And I mean, doing this work with the gravel is a little challenging. You guys can see it is spreading in different areas also. But it looks like we are doing a pretty good job at it. And uh, this Bobcat S770 is also 
perfect for the job. So we'll kind of back up over here. We pretty much backed up over and onto the pile. But since we have so much gravel, I'm just going to kind of bring it all the way over here and kind of start on this section just because we have too much in that one location, which will not really help it, help us out. So we'll kind of back up here very slowly, let it all kind of empty out of the bucket. So that looks really good. Wow, this first person view is perfect for us. So we'll kind of uh, get more from this pile, we'll kind of work our way from over here way to the entrance just because we do have a lot over there and we need to spread it out if you do have any cool video ideas drop them down below in the comments i hope you guys are having an amazing day today i'm doing an awesome and i really do enjoy doing landscaping videos so if you do have any ideas drop them down below in the comments i just turned that uh, light bar on i really do like it a lot pretty nice light bar and many landscaping companies do do uh, spreading of gravel dirt everything like that so if you do have any landscaping ideas drop them down below in the comments we are getting closer to the fall and then to the very end of fall very very soon so we don't have too much more uh, jobs before the end because we'll be switching over to winter and everything like that so we'll be actually doing some pretty interesting winter jobs also so stay tuned for those but we're actually doing a really good job spreading on this section but it mainly is that we have a little too much gravel in one section and we're just trying to use this pile and bring it to the other sections before we kind of continue uh, where we were trying to I really do like this Bobcat S770 I would like to also thank Wood Metal Farming for making these awesome mods this is a very nice skid steer and it does work really well so since we kind of did this section I think we'll kind of come over here we do have a lot uh, kind of views out of this pile which is good and I think we'll kind of start on that section over there kind of taking from this pile there's way too much gravel over here we might actually have to kind of load it into the dump truck if we do have too much at the job site so we'll kind of bring it over and I think we'll kind of start to unload it just trying to use it all and do not want to haul any back with us really awesome so that came out really good I do like the first person view pretty realistic and uh, you guys always ask for many first person so we have a full bucket load and I actually really do like this bucket a lot very nice and it is also brand new to us which is pretty cool so I think before we end today we'll probably go get another load of gravel just because I think that we will most likely be needing it and if not we'll just kind of uh, leave it at our uh, shop and use it at the next one and I think we could probably get a few more bucket loads before we could start kind of connecting all of these areas together. But it is pretty challenging when it is not exactly spreading out how we planned it to. And we brought way too much gravel. And that's okay, we are overcoming that problem very easily. And I chose the uh, wheel one just because I think that the gravel would have kind of caused some problems with the tracks and the rocks getting in between and possibly causing damage. So let me know, guys. Are tracked uh, skid steers allowed for this? Let me know. I would like to use more of the tracked ones, but I do not want to uh, be unrealistic and use them and possibly damage them since uh, the, the gravel could uh, damage the tracks. So we are actually doing a lot of progress today. We kind of got the back section and almost got the majority of this extra gravel out of this area. Which is good. So you guys can see we got all that. So we'll kind of come back over here. There's definitely a lot over here. So let's kind of take a look. We do have to take a few uh, piles out of here. And then uh, we'll kind of continue to work on the start. Now I'm scraping up a lot of gravel. And it looks like we already do have a full bucket load. So we'll kind of back up here. And I think we'll just kind of unload it in this uh, section. Awesome, so we got this section done. We definitely need to drive over it a few times. And uh, I think that we'll be doing that with the International. So we'll kind of turn the uh, Bobcat off just for a moment. Let it kind of cool down. And I think we'll also kind of go get another truckload of gravel in the International. But before we do that, I would like to drive on it just a few times to see exactly where we need to kind of level it out. Because when we do compact it, I mean, this is a very large dump truck, very heavy, and compacting it will probably be very helpful for us. So as we do drive over, you guys can see it is spreading out a few uh, areas, which is good, and uh, that's perfect. So we'll kind of back up, drive over the tall areas, but 
overall, this dump truck is going to be very helpful for us. We did actually spread out that pile also. That looks pretty good. We'll kind of uh, go back and go get another uh, truckload of gravel. And it's actually just down the street, right over here. We'll be backing into the building material silo, just because I do not think that the mirrors will probably fit. So we'll kind of back in and uh, let me know, guys, should we do more dump truck builds like this? I really do like this one a lot. It looks pretty cool. So we'll back in. That looks to be good. And we'll uh, fill it up with gravel. So you guys can see that this is filling it up and I think that we might need to increase the capacity of the dump truck since it's much larger than the truck I did base it off of. But I really do like the black dump bed and the white cab. That looks pretty cool. So we'll be uh, making our way back. It's just down the street from us which is pretty helpful for us. And we will actually be kind of just driving in and unloading it in the back section. So we'll kind of cruise in here and we are actually compacting a lot of it. Wow, just kind of driving over the piles everything like that so we'll kind of unload it right over here and then drive around the building as we do unload and I think that this could be a very efficient way for us to kind of spread out the gravel but it looks like uh, when we had it delivered we just had them unload it in all the areas so we'll kind of tilt that down and pretty much this driveway uh, gravel was actually coming out really good so we'll kind of park up right over here it should be good We'll be hopping back in the Bobcat, and I think that the last section I really would like to do is kind of get that little uh, areas of dirt kind of filled up. So we'll just kind of take a little bit from the pile over here. Once we do this, we'll be calling it a day. But like I was saying, guys, I hope you guys enjoy your days, everything like that. I really do appreciate all the support supporting the daily videos. This uh, gravel driveway did come out really good. It did actually take us just a little bit of a while, but I really do like it. It's going to be very helpful. And the gravel wat will actually prevent a lot of mud and everything like that. So we kind of did that. And the final thing before we call it a day is I would like to clean up this area and kind of clean up the grass. We'll kind of uh, lower it down and scrape up some of the gravel along the side. Now we could pretty much get a full bucket load out of this, which we will most likely be doing. And it looks like we did, so I will be finishing this off game. I hope you guys enjoyed today's landscaping video, spreading the gravel here on the Gold Crest Valley map. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and subscribe for more.